And you know what was so lovely? So many of the staff on the train were going, oh, you're going up for Denise's funeral. Oh, we remember Denise. Oh, she always sat here. Well, they it's remember funny what you, she should, drank. you should say that because we, uh, that one of the stewards on that train um, posted a picture on Twitter, which we've managed to find. This is the, this is the picture. Um, and it, is, it, it was posted on the day that it was announced that she died. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and it was a, a, a sort of in memoriam, her seat with her drink, saying this is where the lady used to sit. Yeah. Which yeah. they left empty, apparently, they did. Yeah. the that day after, didn't they? And, and, he, and he said he, she used to give him tips. Now, I'm assuming they were cash tips as opposed to, you know, <laughs> advice, relationship, relationship advice. tips. Uh, but probably they, a bit they, of both, I imagine, both. with Denise. And they, they fondly remember her and the very fact that so many people have turned out here today. Mm. It's almost like a, a royal send-off, and so it should be. And yeah. that's what we were saying. It's when you come up here to Sunderland and you feel that real heart of her and yeah. how loved she was. And also, she never moved away. You know, she no. could have probably moved to London like so many people in our business do yeah. because it's easier. You know, her roots were here. She, she always championed Sunderland, her football team, yes. didn't she? Yes. You know. Which you can see from here, yes. Stadium of Light, yeah. Stadium yeah. there. And we it's actually, it feels, today feels very surreal because I still can't quite believe yeah. that she's That's not going to walk saying. out somewhere and say, hello, pet. I know. She I know. Always got did. Quite, a, quite a tough job today, haven't we? Well, Philip, you're right. Only from the point of view, I don't know about you, but I'm quite an emotional person. If I can stop my voice from cracking, I'm fine. And you deliver the message on behalf of everybody who she works with. And that's the only danger. So you have to be as businesslike as you can about it. But what's if I'm the, not, come What's on the gist up. of what you're going to say? Well, I think it's, it's, it's how we on this morning, our family, whoever it are, it's all interchangeable. And she was very much part of that family. And it just doesn't stop when they do the item and, and they come off air and whatever. I mean, we would have many bits of banter and advice and yeah. argument, and uh, she gave me some of the best advice in life and some of the worst advice <laughs> um, as well. But um, Denise, bad advice. <laughs> <laughs> but I used to have great arguments with. I used to come up and say, "You don't seriously believe that, do you? What you just said there? And she, you're a wicked man. You're a wicked man." <laughs> we did all use her for our own advice yeah, as well, we did. didn't we? If you had a problem, yeah. Denise was the one you went to, and I've, I keep saying, you know, she was like the matriarch yes. of the this morning family. And we've all joined later, haven't we? And, and, and she's there right from the beginning. Yeah. And that of course, this is this morning family and all of Sunderland are out here today in, in the Minster um, to celebrate her life. And then after the ceremony, there is a private ceremony to mm -hmm. the family. And this, of course, will mean so much to them to know that the woman they loved more than anything was also so loved by yeah. everyone else. I think it's very difficult, isn't it, when you lose somebody and you're wrapped up in your own grief. But when you suddenly see how many other people yeah. that you don't even know yeah. loved that person, but it must make you very proud. To be a regular yes. fixture for 28 years on this morning alone, not even counting mm -hmm. other things, uh, that she's in people's living room and that I don't think we will ever see her like again. I think mm. she will be the mm. one and only. I don't think there will ever be another agony aunt. Who could imagine getting a gig like that mm. for nearly 30 okay. years? Yeah. From the very early days in Liverpool in 1988, Denise Robertson became synonymous with this morning. 